We are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the hashtag TFR Motivation, Motivation Monday, Monday Zoom. We are Dr. Dondi and Marcy Nettle. So we yes. are your presenters tonight, and we've got some information to share with you about the second T, that is second T in ITT. But like always, before we get to that, Let's talk about this YouTube channel. Team Freedom Reigns. Go search us out or use this QR code. Go and subscribe. Make sure that you um, ring the bell for notifications so that you get notified every time we upload new content, whether it's an opportunity presentation or training. So Team Freedom Reigns on YouTube. All right. So tomorrow we have our next installment of the Momentum Live that corporate brings to us every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Tomorrow on the 9th, it is going to be product focused. It is going to be all about Life Vantage Rise AM and Reset PM system with our one and only Lisa um, Barnes. If you don't know who she is, she is the VP of Research and Development. She basically develops our product. She's pretty awesome. And then also Tyler Horton. He is the Senior Director of Global Product Marketing. You will be able to watch that live if you're available at 10 a.m. Mountain Time tomorrow morning on the U.S. Life Vantage Consultant Facebook page. If you're not available at 10 a.m., guess what? You still go to that same Facebook page and you can watch the recording. It will be there available to you. So tomorrow morning momentum live and fun fact about tyler he is the inspiration behind horton here's a who little known fact that's actually Oops. an april fool's day one week late but we can go ahead and go on i just thought of that okay you're a dork <laughs> sorry guys that was 30 seconds you'll never get back in your life all right and along with the education that you'll be getting tomorrow from lisa barnes we have the opportunity to receive life vantage rise am for free in the month of april so good so for any new consultant or new customer that starts in April with at least a $200 order, they'll get a free Rise AM in their order. And for any existing customer or consultant that has a subscription order with at least $200, you too will receive a free Rise AM. It's super important to get the right nutrients and the right combinations at the right time of day, and you can start with Rise AM. Yes. Summer is almost here, which means our next event with Life Vantage, it is a virtual event. It will be July 20th. So please mark your calendar, save the date, go and get registered. It is a free event. Um, this QR code will take you to the page to register, first of all, and then you can also register to host. Keep in mind that when you register to host, they generally do some pretty cool stuff for those hosts. They, a lot of the time, will send out swag bags with some product or some um, swag that you can use through the event for raffles and drawings, giveaways. different things, lots of fun there. So make sure that you go, first of all, save the date, register yourself, and then register to host. Invite those people in your area to come join you and invite prospects. These events are always great for not necessarily a first touch, but really someone that has a second, third, or fourth touch. It's time for them to see what our company provides in training and in the opportunity. So invite everybody. And it would be a good idea if you do host a watch party and you want to bring prospects, do an opportunity meeting right before, and then a carryover yes. into this virtual event, which would just basically get them to sign up on the spot. Such a good idea. Such a good idea. Such a good idea. Which, by the way, we hope that you guys are back in homes having opportunity presentations. We're super excited. As soon as we're done here tonight, we are going to be running all or driving on over to Dr. Bruce's um, chiropractic practice and doing a presentation tonight. There's expected to be between 25 and 30 people there tonight. So we're super excited about that. Let's get now. Woohoo! Let's go, baby. All right, so here we are to tonight's uh, topic for the team call. You know, you guys are so good at inviting people to take a look at information and finding out if they're open, and then you share all kinds of amazing tools. And then we get stuck in the weeds. And it really is because we are not utilizing that second T in ITT the way that it is meant to be used. So tonight we're going to be going over the importance of utilizing the second T in ITT, which is team. Team, team, team. So good. I love this quote because this speaks directly to one of the main reasons why the team approach is so effective. And this is from Lyndon B. Johnson. It says, there are no problems we cannot solve together and very few that we can solve by ourselves. Ooh. And nothing is more important than that in network marketing. The team approach is the only approach. Yeah. So I would like to know in the comments, have you ever felt stuck? 
Have you ever felt stuck right at this point? You've asked somebody to take a look and they've said yes. So you did the invitation. You sent them over a video or maybe a recorded presentation and it was great. And then you asked them, what did you like best? And, and then they said something and asked a question and then everything kind of stopped. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever had that experience? Yeah, Hagen's like, yep. yeah, Teresa's like, yep, for sure, right? And you know, well, we have too, because a lot of the times we'll get in our own heads and we'll get in our own way and we'll think that we have to be the one that knows everything. Yep, Joe's giving us a thumbs up as well that he's experienced that too. Well, that's why we're having this call tonight. We're gonna go all the way through this and just remind you, because you guys already know, if you've been around for a while, you already know the importance of using the team, right? But maybe you're new and you haven't heard it from this point of view yet. And so that's why we felt it was important for us to come back and just really help you understand why that second T is there in the first place. So first of all, after the invite, using tools that create questions, please make sure that you are not the one that is answering the questions. As soon as your prospect's mouth opens up and starts asking a question, your mouth should basically close, close. other than to say, you know what, that's a really great question. Let me get you connected to somebody that's part of my team that can help answer that the exact right way for you. We're going to share why that is so important, why it is so good for your prospect, why it is so good for you to make sure that you are not taking the place of the team and you're actually bringing in your team to help you. Mm -hmm. This is so critical because think of your support team as utility players or role players because and the more the more you know or the more people in your overall support team that you know and you know what they do what their backgrounds are how long they've been then the more diverse and the more deep your level of support is going to be because you are going to meet people prospects specifically that are going to fit into many of these categories right here and if let's say if you have a homeschooler who is interested in our products what better person to answer the questions of a homeschooler than another homeschooler who is a part who is part of your support team rather than you answering the questions yourself or going to a utility person all the time because you can go to the same person all the time and what will eventually happen is they will wear out their welcome not because they are doing it because you're over utilizing them because you have to think about duplication in network marketing the t the second t the team this is by far by far the biggest breakdown in every network marketing company system. And they all have similar ones where you make an invitation, you send them a tool based on their questions, and then you invite, you introduce them to a team member. Some of them may call it ITT, some of them may not, but the system is the same. And the biggest breakdown is the team aspect. And I will tell you as a major violator, when I first got involved in this business, I didn't tell any, I didn't introduce any of my prospects to my team because I knew more than my team did about our products. I, I am, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to be, to say that I'm, I'm a bookworm. I studied our, re, our research down to the resources, every single one of them. I knew everything about our products because I meant, made it my business. The problem was, is I paralyzed the growth of my business. Nobody could answer questions like that. And you, you know, the real reason this is a problem because nobody ever asked questions that justified any of the time. I spent reading the research. Not a single one in my entire 15 year career here at, at Life Vantage did I ever have a call that made the time I invested in reading that research warranted. Yeah. So the bottom line is do not, do not, do not ever, ever, ever answer the questions of your prospects. Send them to somebody on your team and we will show you all the different ways of doing that. But the more people in your support team that you know and you know what they do, the deeper support you have. Because if you are working, most people who do this business, 95% of people who join network marketing companies are already employed somewhere else. And the team of support is probably employed somewhere else. So you have a limited space of time. If when you've got a prospect who wants information, you've only got two or three people that you go to, what if they're all busy? Then that prospect waits, that prospect goes on to Google and you know goes to the starts answering their own questions and read or talking to friends or whatever. And before you know it, they just entered the witness protection program. Yeah. So bottom line is look at the list here, find out how many people in your support team, what do they do 
So when you meet somebody that is that criteria, now you do you have to do it that way? No, you absolutely do not. Because there are people that can answer pretty much every question. But if somebody asks, hey, is there anyone else who's a stay at mom who's doing this? Is there anyone else who is a homeschooler that's doing this? Is there anyone else that is a student and doesn't have a job or a homemaker or whatever? That's when you when you know, yes, I've got somebody on my support team. This is what they do. Perfect opportunity to pair them up. Yeah. So, you know, a really good idea is that if you're part of the U.S. Life Advantage Facebook page, when you have someone that comes up, it's like, would well, you have anybody that is a, you know, a biologist that is doing this, you know, that I can talk to. And if you don't know anybody personally, do you know that you have an extended support team through Life Vantage? Because we all work together. We all help each other out. You can actually make a post on the US Life Vantage distributor page, consultant page, and say, hey, who of you out there are, you know, have biology backgrounds and would be willing to do a third party validation yes. for me, right? Validation means that they're going to be answering questions for you. So you can utilize many different things. That's why we're not saying your upline support team because your support team can be those people that are part of your upline support, but it's also those people that you're meeting as you're building this business. People that are cross-lined to you within Team Freedom Marines, people that are cross-lined to you within other parts of Life Vantage that you have connected with people, reach out to them and say, hey, will you be part of my team of support and I'll, I'll be part of yours too. Right. And then find out their backgrounds. And if necessary, connect them with someone that has the same background. But it's not always necessary to do that. So it, it just opens up your opportunity and the people that are available to you um, to be part of that team. Speaking of cross line support, I want to share, ask you guys a, a favor to become prayer warriors. James Hyden, who's an executive distributor, executive consultant here at Life Vantage. He spoke had, at our last event. He spoke at the last event in Nashville, had an, an accident today. He was cutting down a tree apparently on his property and a large limb fell on him such that it, he had to be airy backed out. So please hold James. We don't know any details on what his status is, but please hold James Hyden up in your prayers. That's one of the things I love about this community. When we're in need, everybody comes together. So say a prayer for James. Yes, thank you for that. All right, so let's talk about this qualifying question here. There are so many that will come to you and, and, and actually it's not coming to you. These are coming into your prospects yeah. brain when they're starting to see information, when you're starting to invite them to information. First of all, is this real? Can I do this? Will I have help? And is there a system? And so if you go through ITT and stop at that first T, you're kind of cutting some of these off at the knees. You're not showing them the full system and the full community of support that they will have access to as well. So keep in mind that when you start prospecting someone and sharing information, think about it as if you are starting the training of your next new business partner, because they will do things the way that you did it with them. Yeah. OK, keep that in mind. So that's why it's so important to go all the way through ITT and introduce someone there as a team member support underneath that second team, because these questions are real. They are serious to your prospect. And if they can't get them answered in a way that makes them feel confident, they will be saying no to you immediately. So there are two prominent reasons why you need to be using your whole support network when answering prospects questions. The first one is. It's all about you, man. Not, I mean, really it's about them, but it's also about you in this circumstance because it can be stressful having to learn all that information, knowing where everything's at and how to respond properly and how to, you know, help someone with concerns that they might have, right? When you bring in a team member that has probably been doing this a little bit longer than you, it takes the stress off of you. It takes the pressure off of your shoulders. It gives you the opportunity to earn while you're learning. Yes. And it helps to create that community. It shows your prospect that there is help available. And um, it, it, that moves into the second one here. It shows your prospect that they can do it. Because if you answer the questions, your prospect will probably be disqualifying themselves immediately because they probably think they would have to learn all of that information themselves before they got started, right? And more than likely, they don't have the energy, the time, or the desire, or really the mental capacity Bandy. to hold yeah. any more information. Like me, if I had to learn anything else, 
that uh, it's just nice to know other people that have the answers, the resources that we have available to us. So this is a, a just two of the most important reasons why you need to use the team. One, it takes the pressure off of yourself to know it all. And two, it shows your prospect that they can do it. Absolutely. Mm. And so options for connecting your team to the support or to, to your team of support. So prospects are going to need reassurance because they have that they have support and they're following a proven system because that's one of the things, if you remember those four qualifying questions from before, is this real? The fact that we're publicly traded answers that with a big heck yes, we are. Can I do it? That's ultimately, that's the kind of the, un, the, the ambiguous question when they, unless they figure out it, can I get help? And is there a support team? Is there something I can follow? And the answer is absolutely yes. And your prospects need to know that it's there for them. So the five prominent ways to reach out, to, to connect to your support network are going to be three-way phone calls. Now, how do you set that up? You can set that up through text. And I, I want to, at this time, I think it's a perfect opportunity to congratulate a few people that today, I've been in multiple conversations with Sarah Smith today, Dr. Dan Zhao today, Lisa Benson today, Amy Leonardson today. Congratulations, all of you did exactly what we're training on today, sending me text, making phone calls, hey, on, and asking or helping to answer prospects' questions. But the three-way phone call is very powerful. So also is an in-person meetup. If you are close by to somebody, somebody call, they can call it a one-on-one -on -one where you actually go sit down over a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, breakfast, whatever, just meet in a park. Have the person, your prospect, introduce them to your support team. Facebook Messenger chat is a golden way of doing it. So if you have somebody that you know on Facebook, your support is on Facebook, you put the three-way chat together and allow, allow your prospect to ask the question, whether it's through audio, through video or through text. And now the person, the advisor, who we're gonna show you who's, what their roles are, can answer it in real time when they've got availability. Very, very powerful. What about number four and five? Um, number four, group text. You can set up a group text stream where you can have the questions flow and answers as well, as well as WhatsApp. There's all different kinds of texting apps out there. And then, of course, we have this platform with Zoom, right? You can set up a Zoom to where you can see face-to-face, -face, which for some people, they really like that because they'd like to be able to look at people eye-to-eye yeah. -eye when they're asking questions and when they're receiving the answers. And, you know, I have to tell you, one of my favorites, though, is Facebook Messenger. And the reason why is because, you you know, or any of those chat um, group things that you can put people together in groups. The reason being is especially when you're working on different time zones, different time zones creates a, a problem with scheduling, right? And so when you put people into a group and you introduce, you know, your prospect to the advisor that you have in the group there with you, then the, que the questions can be asked. The advisor can answer them when they come available, as soon as they come available, and then new questions can be asked, but it doesn't have to be something to where you're trying to kind of like herding cats to get three people together at the exact same time um, to be able to talk, right? So I really like that option um, that has really come about in the last four years or so. So mm -hmm. it, it definitely helps with scheduling. Absolutely. So this is the thing when we're talking about on the job training where Marcy said you can earn while you learn. So your job, that is your job as the leader with a prospect. Number one, most important, be the connector. Connect your prospect to your advisor, which is the support team member, whether it's cross-line, up-line, down-line, if they're knowledgeable, they've been in longer than, than the prospect has, and they understand the answers to the question, or that this is somebody, your, your prospect is a homemaker, this person is a homemaker. So when you pair them up that way, the second thing and the most important thing after being a connector is to edify. Because edification is what allows you to have the trust of maybe sometimes prospects are strangers and the prospect is talking to a stranger. So why would one stranger of yours talk to another stranger of yours? It has everything right here to do with the edification because it's inherent trust in real time. So when you are doing that, that's actually a role play one. So okay. if I have a prospect, let's say my imaginary friend over here, Joe, has a, he has a question. It's like, Joe, that's a great Great question. Let me get my team member on Marcy. She's knowledgeable about this. She can definitely answer this question for you. So whether it's person to person, let's just say it's a phone call. Hey, Marcy, thank you so much for ask, answering. I know you're busy. I'm here with my friend, Joe. He's got a question about Pro Tandem NRF2. 
And Joe, let me share, share. I've been working with Marcy for many years. She's an incredible leader. She's very knowledgeable about our products. She can definitely answer that question for you. And Marcy, my friend, Joe, we've known each other. We've been neighbors for 10 years. He's a great guy. He's got a, he's a family man. He's got kids. One of them is in college. He really, really wants to get healthy and he's really interested in pro dandum. So Joe, Please welcome Marcy. Marcy, please say hi to Joe and answer his question. What do you think? Hey, Joe, how are you? It's so good to be connected with you. First of all, I just got to tell you, you know, Dondi's a pretty awesome guy and, and him connecting you with me and you to this information must mean he really does care about you or he has your best interests in mind because dondi has been working really hard and he's growing really fast in this business. I'm super excited to be working with him. And if you decide to work with him, you'll be in great hands. So Joe, what is the questions that you have after the information that you're, you've seen? So good. So That's basically, so basically Dondi edified the advisor and why Joe should listen to me. And then he introduced me to Joe, edified Joe on why he had, first of all, invited him to take a look at this information, why he thought of him. And then he turned it over to his advisor. And I then proceeded to edify Don D to Joe. So all the way around, we've got the good feelings going on, those happy hormones, because people are talking good about us, right? But this is where I have to tell you and, and make sure that you understand the importance of the truth. Because if you over um, in, <laughs> indulge in your niceties about somebody and they know that you're lying about them, they are not yes. going to trust or believe anything else that happens on that call. Right. No false praise. Yeah. So be true about what you're saying in this edification process. So basically when you edify, you are introducing your prospect to your team member and you're telling them why they are answering the questions, basically why your prospect should listen to your team member. And then you're going to introduce your team member to your prospect and share why you shared the information with them. Okay. And basically it comes down to this. Now you are going to mute yourself and take notes because this is the on the job training. This is where you're going to learn how to be the advisor for the new consultants that you'll be bringing into your team. And they'll be calling on you to be part of their support system. Yeah, I'm going to, I want to add something right here on number three, the OJT, the on the job training. And I, this, this rhyme I learned from Mark and Lori Wells, and they said, make the flip. Welch, you mean? Mark, what did I say? Wells? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mark Wells was the first chiropractor I ever met. Mark Welch. Thank you. Mark and Lori Welch, executive consultants with LifeVantage. So they said, make the flip, zip the lip. Because one of the worst things you can do as the person who it, you've got the prospect, as the leader, one of the worst things you can do in a three-way call or a meeting is interrupt the advisor. So make the flip. In other words, introduce Joe to Marcy and then zip the lip. And it doesn't matter. Don't add, don't add. Well, say, tell him this, tell him this, tell him this, because you're completely undermining negating. and negating the power of the three-way call. And what you're doing is you're teaching the prospect to interrupt the advisor. And that is the one of the biggest what's the faux pas and errors you can make as the as the leader in network marketing. And even if they say something wrong, as long as it's not blatantly wrong, the prospect doesn't know anyway, you can maybe say something at the end or or call. I would tell Marcy, hey, look, maybe next time say this, this is real, because the prospect doesn't know. And here's the thing, you do not ever, ever, ever want to interrupt your advisor. Not only is it rude, it interrupts the entire flow of the three-way call, and it's just bad etiquette. Etiquette. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then take notes because the more of the, this is exactly how I got to know what I got to know as far as the business. I knew everything about the products, the business. I just had to shut up, listen. Once it was pounded into my head, thank you, Blue Elam. Then I just started taking notes. And the more of these calls you have, the more notes you take, you are literally getting a master's degree in network marketing by eavesdropping on your advisor during your three-way call. So take notes. All right. So the advisor's job for your on-the-job training, and you're going to be learning from your advisor. As we did in our role play, your advisor will then edify you to your prospect and, you know, just verify that it's like, if you decide to do this, it's like not only 
um, it will be a great opportunity, but you'll be in great hands with Don D, right? And let them know that you'll be able to work with you as well. You'll be able to have your advisor answer your prospects' questions and concerns for you so that you don't have to do it. Your advisor will also ask what additional information your prospect would like to see or hear before getting started. So they're basically going to be asking them to get started, yet they will help point in the direction of additional information to help them make the decision. So that's your ad advisor's job is to answer the questions, to edify you, help with concerns, and then point in the direction of additional information or help you gain a new customer or consultant on your team. I'm going to add a number four here with kind of an asterisk because it can be case specific. So it, let's say we're a week out from the virtual event mm -hmm. and this is a prospect. Mm -hmm. What I can do as the advisor, knowing that there's a virtual event coming up, they may or may not have heard about it. If they've already heard about it, I'm just going to confirm it. If they haven't heard about it, I say, hey, you, we have a very big virtual event coming up in a week. What are you doing on Saturday from nine to one? If you're not doing anything, or if you are earmark it now, and because you definitely need to attend this, I would actually love to come meet you. We'll save you a seat, but put that on your calendar because it's a very important event. So you're basically booking a meeting from a meeting to help them get closer to making a decision, capitalize on what you made. And this is also when you have a pre set up, three-way call, let's say, and then use Big Blue Calendar to see if there's any local meetings or virtual meetings around the same time. Because if, if we're answering questions and that prospect is now more interested, then we can steer them to a next meeting, to the next step, get them to a training, whatever it is. Utilize that four, kind of the, the unwritten four here with an asterisk, book the next, the next touch. And if it's a training or a meeting, it could be the thing that gets them to say yes and sign on the dotted line. Yes. Great points. So in summary, take the pressure off of yourself and make it easy for your prospects to say yes by utilizing the second T in ITT. Can you all see how utilizing your team can take the pressure off of you and help answer those questions for your prospect? We hope that you can, um, and we believe that if you will actually put this into play, I mean, heck, we're part of your support team, right? We're sitting on the bench and we're saying, put me in coach, we're ready to play, hey. right? Hey, we're here, we're here to help you. Um, and you have so many other people that are available and want to help you be successful. And ITT is our system, it is in place for a reason. So make sure that you are inviting, making sure that they're open, sharing tools, and then connecting them to a team member to get their questions and concerns yes, yes. answered. Anything else you want to add? Oh, here? just uh, this is we, we're we're really getting down into the. You know, we talked about the basics in the first couple weeks um, of this year. We're going to continue to drive the the basics, the easily duplicatable things, the necessary steps for success in network marketing because you can't go over the basics enough. You can't practice enough. You can't have, well, you can have too much training if it's if it's redundant, but we want to keep giving you fresh angles, new tips, new strategies, challenge you to implement them because the key, the key here is, is we literally have the ability to change the world the world circumstance financially and the world circumstance from a health like no other company can. We are literally that powerful, the tools that we have. And if we don't practice enough, we literally can make an error. And I, I want to kind of sum it up this way. I was taught, I had a, I had a LinkedIn zoom meeting the other day with a gentleman and his motto is who is suffering because I'm playing too small. And when he said that to me, it was like a dagger in the heart because I think I'm doing everything I can. And when he said that is he didn't even have to finish the sentence. And I knew conclusively I'm not doing as much as I can because I am not thinking about it from a perspective who is suffering because I'm playing small, who is suffering because I didn't make that extra call, who is suffering because I didn't make that extra invite that put everything on me. And that was powerful. And I used to look at it that way, but I haven't thought about it that way in a long, long time. And you don't have to look long to see the suffering, the amount of suffering that's in this world. And most of it is going to come down to finances and health challenges. And we have the solution to both. So it's a great opportunity and a great challenge to step outside of our comfort zones and put someone else's benefit 
on the line by our activity or lack thereof and put it all on our own shoulders for the betterment of other people. Yes. All right. So we're going to head over to Dr. Bruce's. Joe, you should come meet us. You should come to the presentation, 57th and Bell Road. Um, but we want to let you know that next week, Dondi is going to be flying solo. And so we are inviting everybody to hop Pray on Zoom, please. Please hop on Zoom um, because on, tonight that was the thing. We were trying to go live with his account and it's not giving him access and permissions and all that kind of stuff. So please, please, if you would hop on here on Zoom. So I'm not really talking to the ones that are on Zoom right now, even, even though we want you back next week, please. Um, but for those of you that are on Facebook right now or watch this recording, please hop on Zoom live next Monday night. Be here with Dr. Don D. Give him your support. And I know he will come through with some, some hot topics. So, all right, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And let's ITT that heck out of this. Okay, right. let's go. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Hey guys, see you next week. Bye.